those plans go. Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're the Sire Girls. And it's holiday season. What up? <laughs> we are here doing DIY Christmas cards and hopefully these are ones you haven't seen before. Yes, and honestly guys, Christmas cards are a really good way, like if you didn't get somebody a present, and then you can just like whip this up. And we chose like really unique, like straight out of our head ideas, so mm -hmm. yeah. We're doing extra holiday content this year, so lots of Christmas holiday themed videos coming up, gift ideas, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure you're subscribed if you okay. aren't already because I don't want you to miss any of it because it's all so exciting. Ooh, including a lot of fives episode. So this first one is a total punny card and I love it so much. It's the Jingle Bell Rock card. Mm -hmm. So to do this, all you need is some thick cardstock and then three Jingle Bells and a rock, obviously. <laughs> you also might need to go hunting for a rock. We had like our shopping list and it was like Jingle Bells <laughs> and then outside rock. rock. Literally, we have a DIY list that Becky and I go and shop for and on the list is a rock. So you need to get a rock. Just a little baby rock, like a like a circular rock. Oh, this is a good one. I mean, you could buy a bag of rocks, but no, rocks outside are free, guys. I mean, don't steal from the environment, but. Mother nature coming after you for shoplifting, right? So the first step is to fold your cardstock in half and trim it to however big you want your card to actually be. Next, space out your four items on the card. Then you need to poke holes for these to go. So we used an awl, but a pen or anything sharp will do the trick to make holes. So you'll need to make two holes per each item. So just make sure you're putting two holes sort of close together and space them out properly so that you have enough room for them all to sit nicely on the front of your card. So now that you have all the holes in your card, we're gonna use some string to tie these onto the cards. So cut little pieces of string, string them through the holes, and then tie your bells on. Now since the rock doesn't have a hole in it, we just use some hot glue to hot glue the string onto the rock and then you can tie it onto the card that way. And for the inside of the card, we wrote Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, you rock! <laughs> but obviously you can put whatever you want in this card as well. Those puns though. idea just because we've seen really small embroidery hoops we were only able to get like a three inch one but we'll definitely link some below that are really small embroidery hoops which would be so freaking cute okay. so you get your embroidery hoop and then you use just a piece of basic fabric in it and then you're gonna want to draw your design out onto your fabric we decided to go with holly and then you're just gonna choose your embroidery thread we did red and green and we did a split stitch around our outline to create the shape you could also kind of like color this in it kind of depends on how skilled you are <laughs> doing embroidery. If you need to know how to do the split stitch, there's a video we can link that we did earlier that teaches you how to do it really well. The really cool part about this card is that the person can actually like reuse the embroidery hoop and the design that you stitched out. Mm -hmm. So we attach it to the card by gluing the corners of the fabric so that they could kind of like cut out the design if they want to use it and it didn't ruin the embroidery hoop. is a recipe card. So what you need to do is find a recipe with items from the recipe that can be gifted along with the card. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing a rosemary cinnamon old fashioned drink recipe. So this drink requires rosemary and cinnamon sticks to make a simple syrup that goes along with the alcohol. Also some other simple ingredients that your card receiver might actually have on their own. We're gonna put the link below so that I don't have to list out the whole recipe for you, but if you wanna use this exact one, linked below, go check it out. Inside your card, write your message on the left and put the entire recipe on the right so that people could actually use it. And then on the front of the card, we're gonna be putting our rosemary and cinnamon sticks so go ahead and put two holes in the front of the card, much like the way we did the Jingle Bell Rock card. Thread some twine through it and tie on your rosemary and cinnamon to the front of the card really well. And a tip is make sure that you make this card the day that you plan to give it to someone because the rosemary won't last too long outside of the fridge. So for this watercolor card, honestly, watercolor is so easy to work with, but it makes such an impact. So take some watercolor paper, fold it in half, and then we just use like some blue tones and brushed really widely across the paper. We're kind of making like a snowstorm here. Mm -hmm. So have at that, and if you need to let it dry in between kind of coats, you can so that you can get different layers. Once it's dry, we're using a whiteout pen to create some snow, and then we realize that you should probably write the words first. So we wrote, oh, the weather outside is frightful, and on the inside we wrote, but my dear, you're so delightful.
And then we continued with the whiteout marker with the rest of the snow on the front. Yes. This card looks so like legit and professional too. Yeah. It looks really good. But easy and like actually kind of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Card we're calling the snow globe card because it kind of actually looks like a snow globe when it's finished which is really cool so the first step is to take your cardstock and fold it into your card shape we found that a square works best because we're going to be putting a circle in the middle use a circular object like a cup or a mug or something to trace a circle in the front of the card and cut that out we cut out some trees and put them on the inside of the card and accented it with white pencil crayon and then glued it into place so now to actually make the snow globe part of the card, we're gonna be using some clear cellophane that's often used for gift wrapping. We find it really clear and sharp as opposed to like a, a plastic reusable bag mm -hmm. for food storage, but if you don't have cellophane, you can use that as well. So we cut out two squares that are about the size of the front of our card. Start by taking one of your cellophane squares and glue it around the circle in the front of the card. Now cellophane melts pretty easily, so mm -hmm. make sure you go slow and only do small amounts at a time and don't put too much hot glue down. Now it's time to add the snow. So we're using white glitter and we're pouring it onto the cellophane. Don't go crazy because when it's squished together, it looks like a lot more than you thought. We actually had to take some out after. Mm -hmm. Once it's in the center there, you can go ahead and glue your second square on top. Make sure that this seal is pretty, pretty good with the hot glue because mm -hmm. we don't want any glitter escaping. And then you can go and trim off the extra cellophane. Now we didn't think this looked as clean as we wanted it to, so we went and cut out another square with the same size circle in it out of the blue cardstock and glued that on top just to cover any edges. Totally optional, but we think it looks a little bit neater that way. And there you go, a snow globe card. You can kind of shake it around and the snow kind of goes around like a snow globe would. So interactive though. I love how it turned out. You guys should definitely try it out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let us know which was your favorite out of all the cards below. Mine is probably the recipe card one because it's like yeah. a gift and a card. So if you didn't get them a gift, you kind of still got them a gift. I like the Jingle Bell Rock one. I did that for my family and I thought it was a genius idea. <laughs> I was like, ha 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 ha, funny. Amazing, well tell us below which one was your favorite and if you have a brilliant idea for one that we didn't do, please share it below. Yes, more Christmas cards next year. Yes. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Bye.